I was just telling you how this road is horrible and then you pull out the camera and you're gonna complain about me going over bumps. <laughs> I want everybody in the vlog to get motion sickness. Hey guys, we're in the car. We just dropped Tegan off at Grammy and Grandpa's. We had to make a quick Walmart run. I don't know if there's gonna be anything new there. We'll see. But I thought it would be a good time to do some car talk without any interruptions coming from the back seat. I know some of you guys prefer the Tegan commentary. Yeah. <laughs> so Ben, have you heard, not the KB thing, but have you heard the newest twist in the Toys R Us saga, how Amazon... I have heard. Amazon has mentioned, yes. ...wants a few of the, the former Toys R Us properties, but not to reopen as toy stores. No, they want to do their Amazon store, Yeah, they, right? want, they want the real estate for their own... Amazon thing, but they want to, apparently they want to get into the grocery delivery business and having a bunch of like Amazon storefronts that can like deliver or you could like set up your order or whatever would be very convenient. So, yeah, they want to do they've already tested out like brick and mortar Amazon things, right? Mm -hmm. So, they probably want to roll that out a little bit more now, a little and, bit. And apparently, yeah, and Amazon bought Whole Foods recently. And so that, that's how things are going. The Toys R Us, the liquidations are supposed to start on Thursday at the stores that hadn't started liquidating yet and wind down in early May, but you never know. Some may be winding down sooner rather than later. Depends. But I don't know if we've heard the last of Toys R Us. I, I'm holding out my glimmer of hope. <laughs> but it sounds like, you know, there are there are companies out there that, that have... Uh, want to come up to bat for toy stores so mm -hmm. we'll see what happens it's going to be interesting times i'll say yeah well. and in disneyland news ben ben noticed this but marvel land is a go in disneyland california i'm rather excited about it i know that there'll be a whole bunch of people going oh no don't touch <laughs> disney but i mean they've already started where they have guardians of the galaxy ride and everything and where they want to put it i find no problem in wanting to put it there they're just <laughs> taking over a bug's life and let's just face it that's a little tired so i'm okay with it i'm excited for it and in you know 10 years when it's ready i'll be there well apparently the first phase <laughs> of it is supposed to open in 2020. No, i i disagree with that i believe first phase has already happened Okay, well, the, the, then so second phase. Okay, whatever. I'm going with second you're, phase. You're splitting hairs, but <laughs> when it actually opens as an official land, okay. will be 2020. Okay, you have to be because more 2019 is the star, the year of Star Wars, which right. we hopefully will be there for D23 again. Hopefully, and we get to wait 10 hours in line to get on the Millennium Falcon. That'll be fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to have two days at Disney <laughs> just so that we can go because we're gonna have to stand in line for the majority of it being open. So I got distracted. That chipmunk only had Squirrel. one leg. <laughs> really? It had, it had, well, I mean, it had three legs. It had one rear leg and it was really bouncing. Like, I mean, it knew what it was doing. I was just impressed. Oh, I found something to vlog here in Walmart. <laughs> it's mostly the same old, same old. Yeah. But look, you remember these giant squish delish jumbos? They just got these in stock, what, maybe two weeks ago? Yeah. And now they're down to $10. Getting tempting. They go down again. $5 a piece. We're getting them. Crazy. This is what's left of the clearance aisle, by the way. Well, this is about $14 for these guys. They were $18.84, so it's not a huge markdown. Yeah, but if you're looking for them. That's true. Know. Luke's Land Speeder. Oh. Thirty-five dollars from the black the series. Ray speeders, thirty-five dollars. They were fifty-nine sixty-eight. In the other aisle, the, all the Star Wars figures from Last Jedi were marked down over like five dollars. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much the command station school bus is. I don't know. They have a whole bunch of schnooks. I guess they didn't really sell. They got tons of them. They were eight eighty-eight. Now they're three dollars a piece. Grows eight times the size from bubble. To best friend. So Ben. Yeah. Make a mental note of how many fingerlings are here. Okay. Because when we get to the Easter section, I need to show you how many more fingerlings are there. <laughs> there is no fingerling shortage anymore. 
So make a mental note of how okay. many fingerlings you see here when we get to the front of the store. I'll show you what I saw the other day when I was here. I think, what do you think? I think these are a little creepy. I think they asked us to review these and I don't think we ever said yes. <laughs> oh, you can put your finger in there. Oh, look, look, you put your finger in. Look. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hey, that, that's the look you give me all the time. That one? Yeah, right there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, I can roll your, my eyes at you. These seem like a toy from the 80s. I can't think of the name. Yeah. Like, oh, I can't remember. It's on the tip of my tongue. They look very 80s-ish. They do look 80s-ish. They have these bigger ones with, like, glitter. Try oh, me. Glitter Wiggle eyes. my eyes. I'm trying. Where's the Lady hook? Lulu. <laughs> it's so funny because their head goes up. When you move their eyes up, their head, like, pops out the top. <laughs> okay, Ben, here we are in the Easter section. Look at all these fingerlings. Did you hear about the new kind of fingerlings that are coming out? No, what's, what's about them? They're dinosaurs. Oh yeah, the raptor one? Uh-huh. I want those over these guys. Even though these are cute. Baby unicorn. I like the glitter ones Alrighty. better though. It's time for Tegan to open up the schnooks. Schnooks, ma. Schnooks, ma. So on the back of the box, Wow, you got this one one. I don't know what it is. So on the back of the box, there are three steps. There's open, shake, and style. And there are uh, four to collect? No. There are multiple one. to collect. These are one, made by two, Zuru. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so there's six to collect. Yeah, six to collect. And we got um, Shine. Shine, that's an easy one to remember. Oh, Shine, Shine. All right, let's, let's open this up. Oh, oh he didn't cut his her hair off. Yeah, I don't see any hair down there. Oh, it's like in a, like in a plastic bag. I'll take the little comb off so that we have that. I, I don't open it. This is all taped together here. No wonder you couldn't open it. Yeah, look at that. She is like vacuum sealed in there. Yeah, she is. Yeah, I saw something similar at, I was telling Ben how I saw something similar to these at, not not similar to Shrunks in general, but at the Hallmark store they have greeting cards and inside the card is a itty bitty and they're packaged like this, like <laughs> Like vacuum sealed in plastic like this. Okay. Here we go. Okay, Supposedly it grows eight times in size. There you go. Okay. <laughs> now I'm and not popping. You gotta give it some give it some tough shakes. Tough shakes. Oh. Yeah. I think it, it still needs some uh, <laughs> fluffing here. <laughs> it's so tiny. And her hair is definitely a mess. Bad You're going to have day. to brush her hair good. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to puff out a lot bigger than yeah. that, weren't you? I don't know if maybe it I don't know what I was expecting. Needs some time, maybe? I don't know. I thought it was going to be more of a ball. But yeah. maybe over time... These are the accessories that came with. It has two barrettes and those like silly bands, along with the comb, of course. That's all for today. Oh man.